Yo, hello, in this video I got a very important message to say to people in the world, like a message to the world. I've seen everybody just going around, doing what everybody else is doing, like, say they agree with the majority, they follow sheep, they can't even think for themselves, like, the child study team lady couldn't even stick up for me when my email was deactivated over me calling someone a brother, who other people also called brother in the classroom. So I did it, and I got the activate. Like, the child's like team person couldn't even stand up for me. And that just proves how much people can't think for themselves in society. They always need to rely on somebody. I don't rely on anybody. My thoughts come to myself. Like, when I had some beef with some people, they had, like, three or four people, like, going against me. Like, these people cannot think for themselves and say, you know what, Ryan, you're right. They always have to be freaking followers. And, like, freaking robots, like, freaking sheep. Like, people... Always want to just follow everybody else instead of thinking for themselves. That's why you see so many people going to parties and just doing the freaking normal normal lifestyle. More people could be celebrities, especially in 2020, if they put their minds to it. But they rather go out and drink and get high. And go to a party. That's what, I'm not saying you can't drink or get high on the occasion. I'm talking about like all them parties that everybody does a lot. Like, they'd rather do that instead of getting famous. The reason why you aren't successful is because you don't manifest into it. Yeah, some things may be more challenging for others than some other people, yeah. But if you work for it, eventually whatever you want can happen. You gotta manifest what you want. You can't just expect it to happen. You know how many years I've been social media in social media? Like, eight years. And TikTok finally gave me that chance. That's why TikTok is never going to get banned. You wonder why? Because it would affect the entertainment industry and business industry so much. Because this is the first app that gave the average American a chance. Before that, it was basically capitalism and corporatism. Where only the people at the top will stay at the top. Basically. Nobody knew. Nothing wrong with someone staying at the top if they worked hard for it. If they worked hard for it, yeah. I understand. Hard workers deserve what they work for. But so do the people that work their butts off to get there. They also deserve something. They also deserve to be rich and famous. They also deserve to say if they're a po po political, they deserve to be a politician. If they want to be a teacher, be a teacher. You want to be an artist, be an artist. You want to be a director, be a director. Whatever you want to be, you deserve it as long as you put the time and effort into it. That's the thing. I I can't do books. I'm not good with books, like reading stuff. Like, I understand stuff better from watching it. Like, I'm not one that analyzes stuff through reading. I'm a lot better with clips and audio. Like, if I remember, if I'm fixated on a certain part of the song, I can sing that song better than the part I'm not fixated on. But the point of the matter here is, um... That you got, you can't just expect things to happen. And also, just because you, you, you're you in high school, just because you play a freaking sport doesn't mean you're better than everyone else. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're better than everyone else. Just because you're famous doesn't mean you're better than everyone else. You're a great person, yeah. You're an inspiration, yeah. But that doesn't mean you're better than everybody else. Like, I see too many people in good positions that just freaking put everybody else off. Like, what the frick happened to you? Uh, I'm going to be brutally honest here. This is not a hate message. I messaged, me and Mark D'Amelio talked a few times before he got huge on Instagram, right? He had 10,000 followers at 100,000. Me and Mark D'Amelio would talk a couple times. He he used to answer me. He got more followers now. He completely acts like I don't exist. He reads the message and he goes on. I'm not saying he's a bad person. I've never met the man. But I'm just saying, this is what happens when people get famous. They change. I mean, the family was never poor, okay? They were always very well off. The kids went to a rich kid's school. N no hate towards the family. But I, I think I'm I'm as deserving as with, of the lifestyle as they are, or if not more. I'm definitely more deserving of that lifestyle, though. As an individual, than the, the, the younger D'Amelia is. Because I'm good TV, like, I, 
me keeping it real and me having that inspirational message is good TV. And it's just me. I can be good TV just by being me. Most people don't have that. Usually you have to have a script. I'm not a script. I'm not a piece of paper, okay? I just spit it out as it comes. That, that That's how I am. That's the same thing with my dances. I do it as it comes. I mean, maybe I'll look at a few dances before doing it and try to think of how it works and all that. And I'll just spit it out. I'm, people are too worried about fitting in and conforming with the society. Um, no, that's not the way you should be. I've seen so many people just freaking outcast people, bully people, and they're killing themselves. Like, it's crazy how many kids you see that are killing themselves and self-harming these days. You want to know, actually, you want to know why they do it? Because they don't fit in. I'm sure it's happened back in the day. I don't know what happened back in the day. But back in the day, that wasn't really considered an option. Because back in the day, parents used to abuse their kids and stuff. Back in the day, like they, they used to abuse their kids. Thank God that's not tolerated anymore. I, I'm I'm talking about like back in the day when people like the older generation. You, you know, I'm not talking about this generation. I'm talking about I'm talking about before millennials. That I'm talking about I'm Gen Z, but I'm I'm like at the end of Gen Z, but I'm talking about before millennials. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like the generation before them them. It's Gen Z, millennials, and I forget the other ones after that. But I know the boomers go in there somewhere. But my point is, videos don't conform to society. Be you. I'm tired of pe seeing people nervous to be themselves because they're afraid of their safety or being judged. It's freaking ridiculous. And people should be able to joke around with each other without their lives being ruined. And people should be able to learn from their mistakes without their lives being ruined. That's the thing. I will admit, I used to do some stupid shit and I've learned from it. And, I, and I've learned how to be a better person. I will always be a savage and I'll always keep it real. But I, there's some stupid shit I used to do that I actually say, yeah, I was wrong there. Or I'm embarrassed that I did that. Yeah, I have morals. Believe it or not, I actually have morals. These haters probably don't think I do, but I do. So. I actually have morals, all right? And I actually feel bad when I do something wrong. It's called not being a narcissist and not being a sociopath. That's what that is called. I am not a psycho because I feel guilt when I do something wrong. I, I'm a man. I usually only break down if I get in like trouble or something. Or if I'm like really happy. Like when I watch an emotional movie, like sometimes like my eyes will get watery sometimes. A little bit. It's rare, but it happens a few times, a couple times. But I mean, it's rare to... Like, if it's truly an inspirational movie, yeah. But the thing is, I'm tired of seeing people worrying about what everyone's going to think. And I'm tired of people judging people for being different. You know how much shit I've seen people go through just for being different? I've seen people bullied. I've seen people outcasted. I've seen people threatened. I've seen people blackballed for being different. Okay? You know how many times I was doubted through my career? I'm going to make another video about this. You know how many people said, oh, I wasn't going to make it big? You know how many people I've been told by to have a backup? Too many. There, I've been doubted all my life. The fact that I'm even close to two million is a miracle. And I, I, I'm just being honest. <clears throat> I'm still friends with the kids I went to high school with, even though I'm famous. I still talk to them. Obviously, I have to be careful who I hang out with because as you get famous, it gets more dangerous too. Like, there might be people that didn't want to hang out with you before. They're trying to suddenly hang out, hang out with you, and they could always steal or mob you because they're like, oh my god, a famous person's item. It happens, trust me. I've seen it. Like at VidCon or Playlist when people were yanking Lil Yuddy. Lil Yuddy, sorry. My bad, sorry. Lil Huddy. I used to I used to like his content in 2018. He used to make some pretty funny stuff back then. I don't I'm personally not against Lil Huddy. Like he's one of the popular ones that I'm actually I'm a fan of. Like one of the really popular ones. I like Lauren Gray, James Charles, Lil Huddy, um Bella Porsche. 
Lauren Gray. Uh, like, Lauren Gray, she's actually a decent person. Like, when I was a trend on Musical.ly, she actually liked my Which Mood Are You video. I didn't even know until people told me in my comments, and it turns out she actually liked the video. And she's noticed me on Instagram a couple of times as well. Yeah, millions of followers and noticed me. She She's humble, alright? She's a humble person, trust me. And when she knows my Which Mood Are You video, I only have like 200,000 followers. So, considering I had the most popular person on the app notice me, I, I, I think it had the people at Musical.ly headquarters freaking out. That's why their Global Challenge page reached out to me. Well, I mean, well, ever since that page changed, I've been ignored. Ever since it's been changed to TikTok Trends, they don't even answer me now. But that's besides the point of this video. The point of this video is, is that you got to manifest what you want. And you got to work for it until you can't work anymore. You got to stop with that play video games for five hours stuff. Or play video games for ten hours stuff unless you're a streamer. Or watch TV for ten hours without doing anything while you're watching TV. Or... Listen to music for 10 hours without doing anything while you're listening to music. If you want to be successful, you got to put your time into your project. And don't be greedy. If you get an offer from a talent agency or a record label, and like a major, major record label, and you're not famous, take it. Take it. Don't be greedy. Take it. Take it. The second I get a, an offer from a major talent agency that will make me long-term famous... I am taking that shit. I don't care about a few more freaking dollars. I don't. I don't give a crap about a few more freaking dollars. I, I, I don't. I never got into this for the money. That's not why I do this. Why I want to make a living off it so I don't have to get a regular job. I never got into entertainment just for the money. Like some other people. I don't care about the money. I want to live in L.A., sure. I want to have a rich life, sure. But I don't do this just for the money. If I, if I wanted to make money, I would be on Forex right now doing Bitcoin exchanges. Okay, if I wanted money, I'd be doing Forex. That's what I would be doing. But I'm not doing this for the money. I'm not doing this for the money. I do this because I like to do this. I do this because this is my passion. Entertainment is how I've been able to make friends as an autistic person. Entertainment has changed my life. So why am I going to quit? Because some people don't like what I do. You know how much discouragement I've had? You know how much people have told me to stop? You know how many people have said, you've done enough? You know how many people have tried to stop me? Many. You know how many people told me I couldn't do it? So many. I'm almost at 2 million. Before this year... I wasn't even at 500,000 followers. I was at 460,000. Last, like, December, January, I think I was in the 460,000 range. Once that quarantine hit, I started working overtime. I started working overtime on TikTok. I went full blast into TikTok. I went all in on TikTok. I stopped the trailer... Triller doesn't help average creators. I still tr post a Triller day. Dub Smash changed their algorithm, so they're all whack now. Maybe it's because Reddit bought it. It's like what happened to Vine. Twitter bought it and went to shit. But TikTok's way better than Vine will ever be. And TikTok is way better than Dub Smash will ever be. So. Dub Smash was the best when it first became... Like, back in late 2018 was when Dub Smash became good. Or 2018, whenever whenever they started doing that, where you could do the, the dances and stuff and have views and stuff, that's when it started becoming good. I was on it right before they started doing the followers and stuff. Once they started adding the followers, but now they changed their algorithm so much, it's whack now. Ever since TikTok banned, they basically ruined Dub Smash now. Now they only feature certain people on there now. Or they only do certain people like several videos of the same person. Either way, I don't use Dub Smash like that anymore, and I also, I also don't use Firework like I used to. Like I, I just don't see points in those smaller platforms like that. 
like I, I just post just a post on him. Like same thing with Byte anymore. Like Byte's a dead app. Byte is freaking dead. Okay. It will never be TikTok. Vine will never be TikTok. Because the only thing that pisses me off about TikTok is getting blocked from the For You page. That's it. And TikTok even admits to it. They say stuff that may go against our guidelines or spamming the hashtags, whatever. Like, like whatever they say goes against the guidelines. Like, like TikTok is still the best thing that's ever happened to the business and entertainment industry ever. Do not doubt these people at TikTok headquarters. They worked day and night to make sure that ban didn't happen for you guys. So do not do not go at these people, please. Um, what else I gotta say is this. I'm autistic, so I've always been outcast and all that. Like people don't understand that autistic people have social problems and fixation problems and such special interests and all that. Like, people will not understand that unless they live autism. And somehow, I've been doubted so much as a special needs kid. And I've had people tell me, oh, this, this, that, that, this, that, this, that. This kid won't make it. This kid won't do that. This this kid needs to be on medication, all that. Like, yeah, like, in middle school, I used to have the school complain about me needing to be on medication. Okay? They used to beg me to be on medication. Okay, well... The reason why I'm famous is because I'm different. Because I ended up going to that other school. It wasn't a special needs school. It was like a regular school out of district type thing. Because of my autism. So I was able to go out of district. And I met someone that showed me musically. One of my good friends. That I met freshman year. First right away in high school. I, me and her don't talk as much as we did freshman and sophomore year. But we're still we're still alright I would say. But we're still on good terms. And she showed me musically. Lip syncing at. I, I was so lazy back then. I just did the stuff to get followers back then. I didn't care about the apps. And I said, let me get Musical.ly a try. And I, I only got a few hundred views on the things. Actually, that wasn't terrible back then. For me, views back then, a few hundred wasn't terrible, honestly. I should have stuck to Musical.ly back in 2017. But, I mean, hey, I got, in, got real into it 2018. So, a year later, not too bad. But honestly, though, like, I had to work day and night to get to where I am. And if you ever want to get to where you are, you got to work day and night. Study, invest, do whatever. Figure it out. You don't need book smarts just to be smart. Remember that. You don't have to go to college just to succeed in life. Like they try to tell you. You don't have to go to college. And you got to be your own person. You ain't going to get famous by being someone else. Maybe by following trends. But you ain't going to be famous by being someone else. Once, once the copycat phase is over, you're 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 irrelevant at that point. Unless you look exactly like the person you get famous off of, like Paige Nyman did. That's like one in a million that you actually get famous. You stay relevant after you you say you're someone. Like that fame dies down eventually. Why do you think we haven't heard of Paige Nyman in a while? She's not in the press anymore because because people want something different. People are tired of the same thing. That's why Instagram is dying. They're tired of the influencers that only get famous for having connections and that's it. Not for people that worked hard to get connections. And on Instagram, it was only based on connections. It wasn't based on talent either. At least on TikTok, both can help. <clears throat> like, I mean, like, talent agency, stuff like that. Like, Hopefully I get signed to one, though. I just... I just got to do whatever I can to be long term because I ain't doing this for, for five minutes of fame. That that already happened. Five minutes of fame has already happened. I got to make it long term. And always be you. Don't don't conform to society. Don't don't be afraid to be yourself. Fuck bullies. Fuck fuck the norm. Normal is fucking boring as shit. That's why I don't watch YouTubers. They all act the freaking same. That's why I watch TikTokers. YouTubers all just smile and and try to... You see half of these reactors anymore. They don't even make jokes anymore. Like, this is what I mean. Like It's all about who has money now. Like It's like characters out of a freaking cereal box. Like 
you see most of these creators, the, most of the huge creators on TikTok anymore, like on Musical.ly, they actually had some personality and talent. But you see these people doing the same trending dances, and it's like they came out of a freaking cereal box. They all do the same freaking thing. It's freaking ridiculous. I'm not that. Most of the people in the United States don't do the content I do, the way I do it on TikTok. And my dances back in the 2018, they were original dances to trends. And I actually, not all of them are 100% original, but I did my own thing to the trends. I didn't just do everything because everyone else was doing it the way they did it. <clears throat> Everybody just wants to be a follower. Don't get me wrong, I understand doing something because your friends do it or, <clears throat> or checking some out because it's popular. But you don't have to be exactly like everyone else. People always try to be exactly like everyone else and shun people who are different. And I'm sick of it. We need change ASAP. I'm put on this world to, to spread a message. Be you. Succeed. Do you. Do whatever you got to do to succeed. It ain't going to happen on its own. Most people don't have rich parents who can just make the dream for them. Yeah, I'm being realistic. You have. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying you got to work for it. That's all I'm saying. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment down below. Start. Share the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more videos. Pay me any money on Cameo for a shout out or a booking. Whatever. Thanks for watching. And you, you got to you gotta make sure you do whatever you got to do to get to where you want to get to. It, it means risk sometimes. Obviously, don't take too much risks in too little time. Space it out so that way if the risk fails... You could still have a house, things like that, still succeed in life. And it's okay that people make mistakes. Give them time to learn. Hold them accountable, but don't ruin their life over it. Like, people make mistakes. People say stupid things. Like, the thing, I used to do stupid shit all the time. I was freaking young. Stop holding these 13, 15-year-olds. Stop, stop sending them death threats, doxing them. And freaking ruining their life for something they said at 15 years old. It's freaking ridiculous. I would say don't even don't even ruin someone's life at least until they're 21. But I wouldn't even recommend it. Because death threats on the internet and doxing people ain't a joke. People think it's a freaking game. Well, if it was happening to you, it wouldn't be a game, would it? No. I understand. I understand backlash and all that. But stop ruining people's lives. I understand holding people accountable, but you don't got to ruin people's lives because educate people. Teach them the right way. I understand riots. I understand protests. I completely agree with those things because usually rioters are tired of not being listened to. A riot is the voice of the unheard. But stop stop sending death threats online. Stop canceling people because you, you, you people aren't teaching people anything by canceling them. All you're doing is scaring them. You're not teaching them anything. You're just teaching them the, the fear of the world. Okay? That's all you're doing. There's other ways you can send a message online. Like, you, you can get mad at them, sure. But stop trying to ruin people's lives. Or something they did when they were young. Honestly, I don't agree with the whole ruining people's lives thing in general. And the death threats and the doxing. Like, you, I understand holding people kind of like I said. But you people don't got to hold them accountable for the rest of their freaking life for something they did five or ten years ago. It's freaking ridiculous. I hope, I hope I inspired some people today. That people can always grow, learn, and do better. Thanks.